Hello everyone, my name is Elkan 5 right here. Be sure to hope you enjoyed this Infinite Warfare beta gameplay. I think I got the kill streak four twice in this game, or maybe once, I'm not sure. I think it's once or twice. So it's, I got two of these kind of gameplay, so I'm not sure what I got. Um it is now comes to that time area again where we all start judging Call of Duty and it's all it's a mixed fan base because you get some people that prefer the old CODs and they prefer it to be like that and then you get people preferring the new CODs and they like it like that and then you get people who prefer a bit of both and it's in the mixture so it's, it's all a big massive fuck up between the Call of Duty community at the moment like no one's really pleased with what some people get pissed off about what you say and obviously you all know there's probably a lot of reviews already about this game so you're thinking why did I make a difference because I'm truthful about this game I'm not some guy that's going to be fanboying it all the time I'm a guy that's going to be actually just telling you the truth about this game in general so let's go I'm going to put a bit of mix of good and bad in this bit by the way so it won't be like good first and bad it'll just be a mix in the between so let's talk about the classes, like the guns and wise. Okay, let's all discover that the SMGs are fucking good on this game. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but in my opinion, it's quite good due to the fact that you actually have people have to rush to the SMG before they can actually kill people. Some people say you get killed at long range. Not really. This to aim this gun at long range, it's really quite hard, especially the SMGs, because it has a lot of recoil. And for assault rifle, what they are built for, they are more of a long range distance, so they should most likely win the gunfight. So people say that assault rifles are quite weak. In opinion, they are quite weak, but I think that the MV4 and another one is pretty decent on the um, long range distance. But close range, yes, SMGs are dominant. They are the most uh, guns going forwards. The snipers, they are good, but they're too good, if, if that makes sense. They are too easy to quick skate with. It's ridiculous how easy it is. Some people will bash me for this because, oh, you know, you just just because you get owned by a sniper. No, it's just it's just playing out ridiculous, especially the KBS, that the first sniper you ever get. Um, is you pretty much just got aim above the waist and it's a one shot kill and it's not that hard to use the scope I don't think like a couple games with it you'd be sorted with the uh, KBS sniper maybe if you use another type of sniper maybe it'd be a bit more hard but in my opinion I think the snipers I think do deserve a bit of a nerf maybe a bit of a um, uh, I don't know a bit of sway to it I don't know something like that that'd be nice just kind of tune down the snipers a bit I think in my opinion uh, the score streaks. The score streaks are nice feeling. They're new. Uh, the one I'm using here, like I said, is the four. It's pretty much like a predator missile, AC-130 kind of type. It's kind of nice um, kill streak. Um, I wish I kind of do more lethals. I think, but I don't think there's enough lethals in the game, or because I've seen about the supports as care packages, hunter killer drones, RC, but there's not really enough firepower. I mean, you got the four. I also got a massive robot. In one of my um, other gameplays, which I will show off when I discuss about more bad stuff or good stuff about this game. Uh, Another one it is the time to kill is absolutely quick. It's like ghost kill time to kill, which I was not a much fan of. Like I find it really quite hard to even get kill streaks on. Well, not kill streaks, means like um, chem strikes sometimes. So I'm hoping it's just a beta where it's lag compensation. Apparently, and the lag compensation is quite bad. So I'm hoping it's um, gonna be like better. So the time to kill will be as normal, not too quick for my liking. Um, the uh, a rig system you know the specialist i'm using right now um they are pretty fun to use especially when you're using this one with the dual kimbo um smgs they're a lot of fun to use i really do like using these it's just because you can literally go spray like a whole team down in a matter of seconds i've done that before it's actually a great feeling and i don't think these rigs are even, uh, too overpowered either to be honest because uh, they're easy to kill like uh, the other team like it's the SMGs definitely you can easily kill a person out of these rig systems shit. Especially when you see the, like, what that guy had there, the laser one. That is absolutely shit unless you're at close range. So it's no good to me. Um, some people really like it, some people don't. But it depends on what rig you are using. Um, what else there's to talk about? There is... I'm trying to think, 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 think. Oh yeah, the variants. Right, it, this is my concern about Infinite Warfare. This is my main concern about Infinite Warfare. Because you can, get, you can earn variants. Yes, you can earn variants through... Uh, through actually playing the actual game you uh, rank up these missions from your different uh, quartermasters there's four different type of these quartermasters and it's a really good idea i really do like this you get uh, certain challenges to do each game so therefore you're never bored and you always have something to do but the only problem is with this because you, you do an xp and you're an xp for your gun and then you have to uh, buy the prototypes 
before you rank up to your next prototype, if that makes sense. So let's say I'm on a common at the moment, I have to rank up till I get to the rare, and I have to buy the rare to actually move up the system, if that makes sense. So it's kind of a bit of a balance in between. Um, but the other problem is, is with the past two cos lately, as you'll know, you buy supply jobs, you get the guns. And I'm kind of concerned they'll probably bring the same system into that again, and they may actually put really good guns in this uh, supply jobs for buying them. And I think that will ruin the game. I hope they do not do that. And I'll probably get to more depth about these core masters and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, guys, I really did hope you enjoyed this video. This has been the boy L can I five right here. Sorry for the update once again. It's just been a bit of holiday, and I've been really enjoying it. And I'm back on YouTube for the time being. But I hope you do enjoy this video as always. Subscribe for more content, and I shall talk to you there. So then, see you on five. Take care and peace, people. Goodbye.